You paid for your DNA and you own your DNA. So make sure you know how to download your raw data file so you can use it wherever you want to in order to find your genetic matches. Howdy, I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics and this is a segment of DNA. Now downloading our raw data file is important because it's one of the ways that we can preserve that genetic record. So today I'm going to go over how to download your genetic record from the various companies. Now bear in mind this is July of 2018 so if you're watching this video much later the location of these links and maybe even the process of downloading it might have changed somewhat but the concepts remain the same. So we're going to start with Ancestry. And on Ancestry, if we go up to the DNA, and we want to go to your DNA result summary. And that takes us to the opening page of their DNA. Under settings, we want to click on that link. And that is going to go to the test settings and the DNA test settings for Ancestry. You can see right here on the side of the screen, there is a big box which has download your raw DNA data. And that's what we want to click on. Make sure you're not clicking on the delete test results unless you want to delete your results from Ancestry. If you do delete that, you're not going to be able to recover it. So we just want to download it so that we have a copy of it. Once we click on this, it's going to tell us to enter in our password and also to identify that we understand that when we're downloading it, it's no longer protected by Ancestry. Once we've put in our password and once we have checked the box, we can now confirm that this is what we want to do. The next thing is Ancestry is going to send us an email. And from that email, there's going to be a link. So that email will come in about five minutes. And it looks like this, where there's going to be a button that you can confirm that you want to download your DNA. Click on that link. It's going to take you back to the Ancestry site and it's going to have the link to actually download your raw DNA. When you click that button, the download is going to start and it's going to, you can choose to save it to whichever file you want. And you can see here that my file has been downloaded and now I can upload it to other websites or just save it on my computer. So now that you know how to do it from Ancestry, let's go to the next website and that's going to be MyHeritage. And you can see here, I've logged into MyHeritage under my account. And in this case, we want to go over to the DNA menu and we want to go down to Manage DNA Kits. So you can see I actually managed several kits. I'm going to go down to the MyHeritage kit. So this is the MyHeritage results and over here on the side, there's three dots. If we click on those, one of those is going to be download that kit. When I click on that, it gives me this information. And again, it tells me the same thing of what is in the file and the fact that, hey, once I download it, it's not going to be in the control of my heritage anymore. I can click on continue and I confirm that that data is a copy and it is not protected by MyHeritage anymore. And MyHeritage, like Ancestry, also will send you an email once that download is ready. So just like with Ancestry, we received an email from MyHeritage and it has a link to continue with the download. And that's going to open up the MyHeritage website. And now I've got to put my password in again for MyHeritage. And once you put in your password, click on download. And there, you can see that my heritage DNA has been downloaded. So on Family Tree DNA, you can probably recognize now that we're looking for something that says download. On your dashboard, if you go to the Family Finder, you can see in this menu right here, there's one that is to download your raw data. And that's the one that we want. Now, Family Tree DNA gives you several options as far as what you want to download. You can download just the autosomal DNA, you can do just the X chromosome DNA, or you can do it both. And you can do it in either Build 36 or Build 37. Now, most of the third party websites use Build 37, so that's what I would recommend that you download. Click on the link and then save your file. And now you can see that I have my family tree DNA information downloaded. So now we've got MyHeritage and AncestryDNA. Let's go to 23andMe. 
Now in 23andMe, after you log in, you come to the home screen and what you want is you want the tools menu. And under the tools menu, we're gonna go down to browse raw data. Now in the browse raw data, you can see at the top, there is the browser where you can look at individual SNPs or we can download. So we're gonna click on download. Now again, the page tells a little bit about the file and the fact that 23andMe is no longer in control of it. And at the bottom here, there is a button to submit your request. You click on the submit your request and your request is in process. Now they will send you an email or you can actually just come back to this exact page in about five minutes, um, check maybe in 10 minutes, and then you'll be able to download your raw data. So getting back to 23andMe, after we have waited some time, we've logged back in, we go to the tools, to our browse raw data, and then we can click on download. And you can see now that our download file is ready. I can click on this link and it's going to download my raw data. And here you can see I have my 23andMe raw data that has been downloaded. Now the last place that we're gonna download our raw data from is Living DNA. And once again, after you've logged in, you should come to this screen here. You want to choose your test, and it's telling me I'm one of the first people to do that, that they still have some tools going. I can just X out of that. Now that I'm on the page, it's over here on this side, and you can see there's a place that says download your raw data. I click on that, and again, they give you the same warnings as all the other companies saying that, hey, they don't protect the information anymore because it's not part of their database when you download it and that you're responsible for it. Scroll down, click on the consent, and then it'll appear that you can download your autosomal, you can download your mitochondrial um, positive SNPs, and you can download your Y-DNA positive SNPs. We just want to download our autosomal raw marker DNA. And you can see that I have my living DNA now downloaded. So I have all five of my DNA tests downloaded that I can now store, save, I can upload to other websites. So a reminder, the steps that I've gone through are currently what you do in July of 2018. Now the location of these links and maybe some of the verbiage of different things might have changed if you're watching this video much after 2018. But be looking for where it says to download your raw data that you can save your genetic information. If you have any questions about downloading your DNA files, put it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that it can reach more viewers.